Want to think like a hacker? Then stop just learning tools. Start understanding how systems work, how they break, and how to think differently. A hacker's mindset is all about curiosity, persistence, and creativity. It is not just about finding vulnerabilities, it's about asking, what if? When everyone else says, it's secure. Hackers don't give up when they hit a wall, they find another way. They look deeper, think smarter, and never stop learning. If you want to be a real hacker, train your mind to question everything. That's where it all begins. Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. The goal is to promote ethical hacking and cybersecurity awareness. We do not support or encourage any illegal activities. Always use your skills responsibly and within the boundaries of the law. To think like a hacker, you must train your brain to go beyond the obvious. A hacker doesn't just accept systems as they are. He questions everything. He asked himself, what happens if I input something weird? What if I go left when everyone goes right? This mindset thrives on curiosity. Hackers explore how things work break them down, and rebuild them to understand every piece. A hacker is never satisfied with surface-level knowledge. He dive deep into how systems, networks, and code functions under the hood. They also think in creative and unconventional ways. Where a normal user sees a login form, a hacker sees a challenge. Can I bypass it? Can I trick it? Another key part of the hacker mindset is persistence. Hackers don't give up when they hit a wall. They find another angle. They keep trying, experimenting, and learning from every failure. They know that even the smallest clue can lead to a big breakthrough. Habit 1. Start hacking. Take action. The first habit of a real hacker is simple. Start hacking today. Stop waiting for the perfect setup or trying to memorize everything. Just dive in. Set up a virtual lab using Kali Linux, Parrot OS, or even use online platforms like TryHackMe, HackTheBox, or VulnHub. These platforms have intentionally vulnerable machines where you can legally practice real-world attacks. Start small by exploiting basic vulnerabilities like default credentials, SQL injection, XSS, or directory traversal. Then level up to advanced stuff like privilege escalation, buffer overflows, or web app misconfigurations. Each time you attack a machine, you are learning how hackers really think and how systems can be broken. Habit 2. Think like an explorer, not a user. Hackers don't use technology the way it's meant to be used. They explore it, question it, and break it apart. While regular users follow instructions, a hacker asks, what if I don't? That mindset turns every login page, URL, or form into a potential opportunity. Start looking at things differently. See a web page. View the source code. See a URL. Try changing parameters. Get an error. That's a clue, not a dead end. Use tools like Burp Suite, Nikto, or Derb to uncover what's hidden beneath the surface. This habit is about curiosity. Hackers are digital explorers. They poke around, experiment, and never stop asking why. When you start seeing systems as puzzles to solve, not just tools to use, you are on your way to becoming a real hacker. Habit three, learn from every failure. Hackers fail a lot, and that's not a weakness. It's part of the process. Every failed exploit, every broken payload, every dead end, teaches you something new. The key is to analyze what went wrong, fix it, and try again to work smarter. When your reverse shell does not connect, don't rage quit. Ask, did the port get blocked? Did I set the wrong IP? If your SQL injection fails, inspect the response. Maybe it's filtered or you are in the wrong context. These moments are gold. This is where real learning happens. Even pro hackers spend hours stuck on a box before finding the right path. So build your habit of staying calm, thinking clearly, and pushing through. The hacker mindset is not about always winning. It's about never quitting. Habit 4. Master the basics. Before the tools, every skilled hacker understands that tools are constantly evolving. But the fundamentals stay the same. Before jumping into Metasploit or Burp Suite, make sure you truly understand how systems work underneath. Learn the basics of TCP and IP. HTTP protocols, DNS, Linux commands, and how operating systems manage files and processes. Why? Because when a tool fails or gives you unexpected results, you will need your core knowledge to troubleshoot and adapt. Understand how a request flows from a browser to a server. Know what a port scan really does. Be able to read packet data in Wireshark and know what you are looking at. Tools are just extensions of your brain. But if your brain does not understand the system, the tools won't help much. So build a strong foundation first, and then your tools will become truly powerful in your hands. 
Habit 5. Believe everything is hackable. The mindset of a hacker begins with one belief that everything is hackable. No system is truly 100% secure. There is always a flaw, a misconfiguration, a forgotten update, or a human error waiting to be discovered. When you approach a target, whether it's a web app, a network, or even a physical device, assume there is a way in. That belief fuels your persistence and creativity. Hackers don't stop at access denied. They ask, what did I miss? What angle have I not tried yet? Whether it's a hidden admin panel, an exposed API, weak encryption, or just poor coding, there's always a door. Some are wide open, some are locked tight. But a hacker's mindset says, I'll find it. Habit 6. Build strong networking and foundation skills. A true hacker does not just rely on tools. He understands the network those tools are working on. If you don't know how data moves, how packets flow, or what happens behind the scenes when you open a browser, you are missing the bigger picture. Learn the foundations like IP addresses, subnets, ports, protocols like TCP, UDP, DNS, HTTP, and HTTPS. Understand how firewalls, routers, and switches work. Dive into how operating systems handle files, processes, and permissions especially in Linux. With this knowledge, tools like Nmap, Wireshark, or Netcat become 10 times more powerful in your hands. You will not only use them, you will also understand what they are really doing. Habit 7. Master existing tools. Don't create new one. A key habit for hackers is to master existing tools rather than trying to create new ones. The world of cybersecurity is already filled with powerful, tried and tested tools. Why spend countless hours reinventing the wheel when you can leverage these tools to perform complex tasks efficiently? Mastering the ins and outs of these tools means you will know how to adapt them to a variety of situations and get the most out of each one. Whether it's network scanning, vulnerability exploitation, or web application testing, Using well-established tools allows you to stay focused on the strategy, not on writing code. Hacking isn't about creating everything from scratch. It's about using the right tool for the job and mastering it to the point where it feels like second nature. Habit 8. Stay updated and keep learning. In the world of cybersecurity, the only constant is change. New vulnerabilities, new attack vectors, and new technologies emerge every day. A hacker's mindset thrives on continuous learning. If you stop learning, you are already falling behind. Stay updated with the latest security news, vulnerabilities like through CVE databases, and new hacking techniques. Follow respected cybersecurity blogs, join online communities, and participate in platforms like Reddit's NetSec, Twitter, or Stack Overflow. Take courses on evolving topics like cloud security, AI and cybersecurity, and advanced exploitation techniques. A great hacker never thinks he knows everything. There's always something new to learn, and the world of hacking moves fast. Keeping yourself up to date ensures you're not just reacting to the latest threat, but actively prepared for what's next. Habit 9. Think like a problem solver, not a rule follower. Hackers don't follow the rules. They break them. The hacker mindset is all about approaching challenges creatively and solving problems in unconventional ways. When faced with a locked system or a challenge, a hacker doesn't just follow the manual. They look for gaps, flaws, or shortcuts that no one else sees. This habit is all about thinking outside the box. For example, instead of relying on common exploitation methods, a hacker might experiment with social engineering, misconfigured services, or unusual attack vectors. Habit 10. Master the art of persistence and patience. In hacking, success often doesn't come quickly. It requires a strong sense of persistence and patience, as the best solutions are rarely found on the first try. Hackers know that the process of testing, experimenting, and breaking down barriers takes time, and failure is often a part of the journey. This habit is about understanding that hacking is not always about instant success. It's about being willing to push through challenges, analyze mistakes, and persist even when things are not working. The ability to stay focused and keep trying whether you are brute forcing a password, searching for a vulnerability, or refining an exploit, is what separates a great hacker from an average one. So embrace the process. Be patient, stay persistent, 
and remember that every failed attempt brings you one step closer to finding a solution. That wraps up today's lesson on the habits that define a great hacker. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and drop a comment below with your thoughts or any questions you have. Don't forget to subscribe for more hacking tips and tricks. Stay sharp and keep hacking. The more knowledge you have, the more ways you'll find to approach and solve problems. Remember, hackers learn by doing not just reading. The more you practice, the sharper your mindset becomes. So don't just study hacking, start hacking. See you in the next one.